Welcome back. In this video, we're going to explore the arpeggiator on the Korg NTS-1. For this demonstration, I'm going to use a sawtooth waveform. I have an ADS-SOAR envelope loaded. I also have an ensemble modulation effect. I'm using Renoise with a MIDI controller, and currently my oscillator sounds like this. So first, let's look at what the arpeggiator can do before we do a proper demonstration. So a single press of the ARP button will toggle the arpeggiator on. We can see that's active since the LED above it is uh, illuminated. And similarly, we can switch it off with one press. While it's active, the arpeggiator will run while the ribbon keyboard is pressed or input is received from a MIDI controller. So like so. So it only continues so long as I have a key depressed. A long press on the ARP button will latch or unlatch the arpeggiator. Latching causes the arpeggiator to continuously generate an arpeggio based on the last note played and it shifts the arpeggio when a new note is selected. So if long pressing the ARP button latches the arpeggiator. You can see it says latch on the display. So now when I press a note, It'll continuously generate an arpeggio. I won't have to keep my fingers down on the controller. If I press another note, it'll shift up to it and another. And if I long press again, it stops. We can adjust the chord type, the pattern type, the length of the pattern, and the BPM by holding down the ARP button and either using the mode buttons, the type selector knobs, or we can use the uh, parameter setting knobs here. So we have six different chord types. We have an octave when we press OSC. We have a major, major triad when we press filter. We have major suspend, suspended when we press EG. Major augmented when we press mod. We have minor triad when we press delay. And when we press reverb, we have minor diminished. We have 10 patterns we can pick from using the type selector knob. We have an up pattern, a down pattern, a combined up down pattern, a combined down up pattern, a convergent pattern, a divergent pattern, a combined convergent divergent pattern, a combined divergent convergent pattern, a random pattern, and a stochastic pattern. The A knob allows us to select the length of the arpeggio, and it goes from 24 down to one. The B knob allows us to select the BPM, or if this device is synced, we can use it to select the step size. So I'm going to set this to 120 and I'm going to set the pattern length to max at 24. We'll start with the up pattern and I have the um, octave chord selected at the moment. So you can see that the uh, LED above the ARP button is flashing, which means that this is currently latched. So now when I press a note on the MIDI controller, it'll continuously generate an arpeggio based on that note. So let's have a look at the chords. It's currently on octave. If I press filter, we'll get major triad. If I press EG, we get major suspended. If I press mod, we get um, major augmented. If I press delay, we get minor triad. And reverb, we get minor diminished. I'm back to octave on the OSC button. Again, holding down the ARP button, I can change the pattern. So we're currently on up, I'm gonna to switch to down. Now up, down.
Then down up. Convergent. Divergent. Convergent, divergent. Divergent, convergent. Random. And then stochastic. I can adjust the length with the A knob and the tempo would be so I'm speeding it up there or slowing it down so let's try out a little melody on the uh, controller so I'm going to use convergent kind of like that Let's try out some more of the chords again. Okay, so that is the arpeggiator on the Korg NTS-1.